good, I feel so numb. And now, from the cave of wonders and recorded live in the presence of gods, welcome to the Rain Man Show. All right, hello everybody, welcome to the Rain Man Show on a Tuesday night. On a Tuesday night, three weeks in a row live on a Tuesday Still trying to get used to that adjustment, right, Thomas? A little bit, yeah. Definitely. I could use some more coffee and sleep. Just uh, always, no matter what. <laughs> Seem a little low there in the microphone. I know, oh, right? Oh, there we go. There we go. Hello? This is why we... Hey, look at... <laughs> hey, you know what? On the notes, what, what's, what's the first thing it says? Against my better judgment, we're going live tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing on the notes, that's what it says. Against oh, my man. better judgment, we should probably not go live tonight just because of the fact that I'm I'm operating on two hours of sleep, and I'm not exaggerating. I know sometimes people are like, oh, I haven't slept. I'm so exhausted. No, look it. I'm the walking dead. I'm I'm about to die. In fact, I told my <laughs> son that today because he was like asking me to play with him, and I look. I said, look at me, son. You see my eyes? They're bloodshot. They're bleeding. That means I'm about to go to the hospital from lack of sleep. <laughs> He's like, why are you doing this to yourself, Dad? I'm like, so you could have more video games. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing else. That's you're the you're only bleeding reason. me dry. <laughs> Between you and Maggie, I have no soul. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But no, I, I've just been very tired trying to get prepared for this, uh, this short film that I'm doing. That SAG shoot. Um, also, of course, the other shows. And, and it hurts right now because... We have the deadlines of the TV shows. Like, for example, with other shows, I can postpone them and say, all right, well, they're not going to come out today. Right. Because I, I ran out of time. But when you're dealing with Supernatural, the DC on CW shows, they've got to come out. They've got to come out before the next week's episode. Yeah, of course. So so I was doing that so today. Suck it up. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty you, much. You did this to yourself. It's true. Hey, but, you know, I'm reaping the benefits. I'm in here with you guys. <laughs> That sounds like and Andrew. Andrew's need. back. Yeah, Andrew is back. Hello, Andrew. Hi, how's it going? Pretty good. We uh, didn't really miss you last week, uh, <laughs> but uh, good to have you back to do the news. At least yeah. you can read. <laughs> Bobby has difficulty. <laughs> Bobby, I, Bo- Bobby has difficulty uh, forming sentences. I yeah. think he was nervous. <laughs> he probably was. No, it, it, my no, shoes are really big. He, it's really hard it was to fill. Also, the dildo chair that he had. Yeah, to. I mean, it's built in. So <laughs> yeah, you don't remember that thing in South Park that the that was that little thing they. They uh, it, it was like a cycle and it moved like a bike. Oh, the mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You remember, yeah. and they had to like suck it and and ride oh, it at the same yeah. time. That, that's Andrew's chair. Yep, yep. Yeah, so oh. that's that's exactly what Andrew sits on. For the for those of you that aren't aware, what what our seats look like in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of us have normal chairs except Andrew. He uh, asked yeah, for custom yeah, built. Yeah. Custom, and you custom guys wouldn't made. even do it for me. I had to do it myself. Yeah, <laughs> you, got, you gave me a folding chair. We said, gave you, we gave you the supplies that you needed, <laughs> and uh, you uh, gave us that chair for laughs. Uh, but anyways, um, now guys, you guys are all on warning here, on notice. The bathrooms have been cleaned before you walked in today. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm not messing around no more. <laughs> bathrooms. I like how this is like a month long investigation. Bathrooms have been clean before. I couldn't really accuse anybody because my son sometimes, you know, you know his right. his little penis shoots up and pees <laughs> even when he's sitting, you know. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna we're gonna clean the bathrooms and we're gonna figure out who is that who exactly is peeing on the floors. I have a question. Yeah, no. What do you? What, <laughs> it's way too soon for you to start interrupting. What do you? What do you need? In Did, five seconds. Was there urine on the floor last week? Uh, it's not so much the floor. It's uh, it's it starts on the on the actual outer rim, and then it kind of like, I think we're. I don't That's think all, our, I, I don't think our the studio is built on a level because I, I think it, over the course of a couple of days the pee slowly just rolls <laughs> off at a steady you drip. Off foundation. Yeah, we need, you know what we need to get it's one of those uh, rain runoffs. You know, like a gutter. Yeah, yeah. We need to get one of those in the bathroom, and then I think we should be good. <laughs> well, what are you trying to say? Could you keep? I'm just typing saying, in? if there's urine on the floor last week and I wasn't last week, here, so he says that's his excuse. Proof in the pudding. It doesn't mean I'm not pissing it, on the floor. Hey, don't don't poof 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 in the bike too much. We got to teach you all over again. Yep. Watch your peas. <laughs> this is what happens when this he uh, takes a week, a week week away. Yeah, talk yeah. from the side of the mic. Let, let me for all of you podcasters out there listening. Uh, when you talk in a microphone, <laughs> what you want to do is go to about a quarter of the inch to the left or a quarter of the inch to the right. Do not speak directly in the microphone. Otherwise, you sound pa 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 pa. 
And there's your training video, your tutorial video that I'm going to upload on YouTube and get viral videos. Have you realized the most terrible things on YouTube go viral? Oh, yeah. yeah. For example, I'm trying to figure out some new software, and I feel like a schmuck that that I go, I, I'm in the audio business, and I should probably know how to do this, but it was something that stumped me. It was yeah. Bob, it was uh, Brian's terrible microphone <laughs> that we used a couple weeks ago. That's yeah. why it took a while to get that show out. I had to, I had to completely restore the audio and fix it. Because it was just un, it was unlistenable. Um, so I pull up a YouTube video, how to do it, and the guy's teaching you how to do proper audio, and he has the worst audio. Right. <laughs> and he has literally thirty five thousand views. Because well, oh, there's wow. only so many tutorials that actually do the tutorial. How right. are you doing a tutorial? It's like a geek who's like it's like the forty year old virgin giving you a tutorial on how to bone a chick. <laughs> that makes absolutely no sense. I think I think people should be uh, kicked off YouTube immediately. I think people oh, yeah. need to be censored on what they're trying to teach you. Ridiculous, teaching us how to do audio, and you put you have like terrible background noise. Your dog's barking in the background. Your kid's crying. At least c- get control of your environment, my good friend. At least <laughs> here I am complaining. I can't even speak right. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so bathrooms have been clean. Well, good to know. So now yeah. it's just a waiting game. Yeah. Is there it cameras mean? there to monitor us? <laughs> no, Maggie was uh, really up on that. And I was like, no, <laughs> let's. I think she just wanted to scope out the the competition. She wanted to see what what you know what she's what she, if she what, could what, move on to something else, right? She wanted to see what she, what you guys were working with because she wasn't quite sure. Because looks can be deceiving. Because uh, you know, it's, it's very possible that Andrew might be packing the biggest. You never know. A grower, not a shower. Well, there you know, right there <laughs> you know he does it because the grow the grower shower comments usually the person who doesn't have a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you clapping? What are you an audience? <laughs> it's funny. It's a live audience. Live audience. Live There's, studio. There are audience. people listening. Why, why are you clapping though in a microphone? It's funny. Yeah, You're but clapping why? in the microphone. Yes, you are. It's clapping my ears. I'm very ir- irritable today, Andrew. Two hours of I sleep. noticed. Two he hours. really two enjoyed that comment. He really enjoyed that. You've comment. never heard me clap at your jo- at jokes I, I, before. I do, but don't clap in the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I was the All people right. at home don't need to actually Andrew, hear the clap. Yes, Mr. Bus Driver. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> oh God, I'm in such a bad mood today. Andrew, Andrew is going to get it all today. That's fine. That's his dream right. come true. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me take another glass of wine here before I can <laughs> here. I have some wine here. That's the beauty of doing a show on Tuesday night. I can do what I want and drink. And make awkward silences uh on air while I drink. While you drink, good job. Yeah. Um anyways, dog farts. <laughs> no, that, you know, great, great segue. Yeah. Well, I what happened? You know, it's, just, it's just embarrassing. You know, I have people coming in and out of the studio all the time, and the dogs are always, they're in the other half. For the people that don't aren't aware, there's two halves of this home. There's the home part, and then there's a place that I completely redone for our studio. Um, and the dogs find their way into the studio while people are coming in from the other side of the entrance. There's another door. Right. And... And they know that when someone knocks on the door, they, they, they should leave. They're supposed to leave. And as they leave, they leave behind a gift every time. They crop dust anybody who comes in. They do a drive. But the thing is, is that they're out of sight by the time the person walks into the studio. So the studio reeks. And everyone thinks it's you. Like dog feces. And people think I smell like dog shit. (laughs) That's rich. I mean, Angelica came in the other day, uh, DC on CW, and she made the most awkward face at me. And I guarantee you, it's that smell. It probably burned her nostrils. (laughs) Oh well, all she thinks is, and you can't. Him. Well, yeah, exactly, and you can't say, "Oh, if the dogs oh, were, the dogs totally were in the here. Dogs. Yeah, the they dogs were, were in here a minute ago. You don't see them now, but they were in here a minute ago, and they they I love promise. to, they love to, you know, drop bombs and leave. <laughs> it, they do this to me all the time. It's like they, they hate you. They, they why is everybody <laughs> against me? <laughs> why are people against me, Thomas? Can you answer? Can you answer this? Um, it seems like the whole world yeah, is against me. Know. Out to make me it's all about me tonight. We could maybe because it is all about you. It's all about me tonight because <laughs> I'm operating on two hours of sleep. No, it. it well, who else is against you? My sister. My sister. <laughs> what does she do now? She had the audacity to tag me in a photo on oh. Facebook. <laughs> The ultimate sin. I mean, come on. With all the complaining I do, and it's it's the worst. What do you, what did you compare it's, it's yourself worse, to now? It's worse than the Big Boo photo. I doubt Can that. Can you guys go go to go to on Facebook, 
You guys can probably Google. T- type in is Jessica. No, see that one. I'm okay. That one I'm okay with. That one because I look. Oh, um, I, I I have some confidence in that picture. And that photo. Fo- why can't that bad. see? Yeah, I'm, I'm a decent looking guy, right? In that photo, right? Tom, yeah, admit you it. Are. Okay, well, all right. Andrew's here to confirm. Uh, right, Andrew, what? Huh? Show him the photo. Let's get let's, let's let's get the gay nod. I'm looking for it. So that one, the one that's on Thomas's uh, Thomas show Thomas's uh, yeah, computer. Yeah, hold on, I got it right here. Yeah. Would you confirm or deny that Mike is a decent looking dude in this picture? I mean. Yeah. Okay. That's all. <laughs> no more. <laughs> all right. Now. All right, so what are we supposed to? What do we? Okay. Did you want to tell that on air? No. Hold on. Now, I, and we'll post these photos so that you guys know what we're talking about later. Um. Now go to Jessica McCormick. Like you can type it in. It'll probably come up because she's a mutual friend with me. That's my sister. Okay. Now her cover photo is okay. the worst photo I've ever seen of myself. It, it makes the big boo photo of me at my at my at my cousin's wedding look better. And this is how I looked at this is how what I look like at my wedding. Well, uh, for the moment it Oh, there we go. Do you see it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see it? It looks like they surprised you. Okay. <laughs> this one here. Now, Thomas. <laughs> yeah. If you put those photos <laughs> Shut <You're>, up. <laughs> <laughs> You've got this like thousand yard wide eyed stare. Okay. All right. Now the lighting is bad. The angle's upward, which makes everyone look fatter. That is just that is pure gold right there. <laughs> now. Thomas, if someone you look terrifying. If, I, I was. I was thinking, oh shit. This like, is gonna this be is gonna tagged gonna on Facebook. <laughs> All right, now okay, yes. put those photos side by side. Right. Okay. Would you know, if you didn't know me, would you think those two people are the same person? <laughs> Be honest. I think at first glance, maybe you probably s- wouldn't. Slight, but maybe slightly you, you really related. Maybe the, the, maybe the overweight brother. Maybe the overweight brother. Yeah, those photos were taken two day, one day apart. <laughs> <laughs> How can one per- I've never managed, I've never met anybody in my life who... In person, I look okay. In person, yeah. I, I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, I yeah. look okay in the mirror. And then I snap a photo of myself for a selfie. It looks like and I look complete like dog shit. So, so like people so think you I, smell. I, I, I'm not photogenic, right? I, but then sometimes in another photo, I'll look okay. What is this? What's going on? It's like, I, does anybody else have the night and day I hate, photos? I like, hate do, how I look in photos. See, but you always look Same. okay in photos. See, I don't believe that though. Okay. See, I think that's okay. what it is. It's a mental thing. Okay, hold on now. Now, okay. I don't look okay. Let's compare this. I don't look okay in that Facebook cover photo of my sisters, do I? Fucking Be honest. Nope. I look terrible. It's not a, it's not a good <laughs> See, picture. that's my point, is that I'm not, people think, my mother's all, oh, you're just so hard on yourself. You need to get over this whole tag photo. You usually photo. are, but that is not, that one is probably that, that's yeah. a ter- terrible. But that's how I look in my in the photos that I hate. That's what I look like. And I'm, it's not just me. It's, that has nothing to do with low self-esteem. Right. It has nothing to do with my mom's all, oh, you just have low self esteem. Like, no, I, you probably I can tell. do for most of them. But like, that one is an example of that, just that was not your dad. I'm like, why did she tag me in that? <laughs> like, are you, are you trying to, like, like I'm watching she her. Wants do- to hurt you. I'm watching my niece now on Wednesdays. Like, come on, you, like, I have time to do that. I do it because I want to have a relationship with my niece. So I now watch her on Wednesdays. The least you can do is not tag me in that. <laughs> It's like this photo, like the the badass persona that you've created with Rain Man, like, you know, the, the Velociraptor riding right. motherfucker that you've made for yourself. This one photo has <laughs> undone every bit, <laughs> every See, bit of it. But you're there, just a neckbeard now. I that's all you are. And there goes, and and that's my whole point. There goes the illusion, <laughs> right? The illu- There is a certain am- amount of image that you need to have oh, when yeah. you, when you're a public figure or on radio. Guess what? It's gone. No, shut it's up. Gone. I'll, I'll post one of my. How scared you look? Stand back, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I would know because you know what I was thinking. I was, I was at that You're moment. Like, oh, hey. I, and then, right as the camera was pressed and the flash went off, you realized, oh fuck. Yeah, this would be on your Facebook. Eyes got big. It was. It was. This is going to be on Facebook, <laughs> yep. and I have no idea what I look like right now. Your eyes are big. You're. you're yeah. Just, oh. I, I, I don't know what it is. I look like a fat Mexican. Some I look people like can't Mel. Have it all. Mel right. from Mel's Diner. <laughs> <laughs> Art it up! Huh? <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad I'm out of the game. Like honestly, like when yeah. I look at photos like that, like, I, and I'm not one of those guys who um who get into a relationship. I've been in a relationship for six years, so I'm not one of those guys who get in a relationship and get fat. Right. Like I believe in staying looking good your whole life, no yeah. matter what, no matter if you're in a relationship or not. I work out hard all the time, but 
for some reason, like if I were to, I'm, I'm glad I'm out of the game because I worry about certain like sides and profile views. Yeah. Because if I was in a relationship or trying to get into a relationship now, dating, I would always be looking like up to them. I would try to find a way that I'm always hunching down, you know, looking kind of right. that because the, it's that. To give yourself that sharp jawline. Yeah, something happened yeah. like right here. I look like <laughs> I look like the chipmunks. <laughs> My cheeks are so fucking yep. big. Looks like I'm storing food for the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, lo- I'm yelling way too much. Today. I love I'm going to lose my voice. What picture it. do you love? I love the picture. It's Please just, don't it's so share good. it right now. We'll, we'll post it later I know. for you guys to see. I, I, I'm okay. Now that I've... Don't forget I've, to tag them in it. <laughs> <Absolutely>. <laughs> now that I've... I untagged myself in it. Like, Did you really? Oh yeah. Is there a way for people to know that you untag a photo? No, I don't know. No, no, no. It's, no. Okay, because I do it a lot, and I don't want people to like take it the wrong way. It's just me. It's not you. It's me. That's what I want to tell them. I appreciate you thinking of me, but you know, you gotta eat healthier. Yeah. Right. I, I have. I have an image to keep, and that's not helping. <laughs> Maggie almost filed for divorce. When she saw that photo. <laughs> Okay, there's a little bit of controversy surrounding uh, Tony, once again. Surprise. Well, somebody made a comment, uh, one of our active listeners in the Invasion Group page, about the N-word that he dropped on a show. You weren't on the show, Thomas. That was the uncensored one I had to leave. Yeah, you weren't weren't in that show. Good job, Tony. Uh, That was with just me, him, and you, right? Yeah, and one guy said it was hilarious and posted some meme, but then a few other people, they were just like, wow. They didn't say, no one kind of, I think at this point in the game, no one's gonna send me a message and and complain about anything because I you know what, yeah. if you're listening to the Rain Man show you know be you an, know what be, you're, you be, know yeah, what's happening be now. an adult at this point in the game this isn't we're not on week one you know we're going on five years of this type of show I I think you probably should know at this point and if you are a new listener just don't listen did we lose sponsorships no no no, no. <laughs> <laughs> then I would probably be a little concerned no you would fire me. <laughs> nah, I would I'd tell the sponsor to go Because that's how important you are, Tony I have your back I'm If just, it was just Apple, lying. you'd probably f- uh, If it was $2 million uh, you, that we were getting As a sponsorship, uh, then I would, might say Tony, You would demand that Tony fist yourself Oh, Jesus oh, I, I, would, I, I, I would give you a, a nice severance package And oh. say, see you later oh. <laughs> Have a good life um, No, but a few people like mentioned on Twitter Here and there uh, Nothing where people had to actually make a formal complaint But it was like, wow Tony just said the N word, stuff like that. <laughs> what was the context? Again? Um, we were. It was in parody, and because it was in parody, I'm okay with that. And I just want to. And I have. I think you guys know. I've, we've made a lot of changes from the men with no live days to now. And I think for the benefit of the show, I don't think in terms of. I mean, like Dan would just say stuff off the cuff for no reason. Right. Out. He would be speaking, and he would be speaking to you as an audience. Like, oh fuck you, you fucking like. Content. He would say it not to someone directly, but I think there's a big difference in perspective when you're saying it in parody as part of the show of laughter, or you're just saying it with an attitude like you're Andrew Dice Clay. Mm. And that's yeah. not the show that I wanted for this. And that's why we we speak a lot differently. And I think that kind of answers some questions to the old school listeners as to the vast difference in the show. However, there's that we still say things, but there's a, there's more of a perspective to it. It's it's more thought out. There's more uh, thought into how we say things and how we do things rather than just just you know popping Letting off it at, all at the fly mouth, off the handle, right? And the way Tony said it, and I left it in the show because a it's uncensored, and b it was in parody, and okay. that's why I don't care. And and now if Tony was driving home or driving to the studio or driving home and he told me a story and he used on the air and this F and N pissed me off. Then I'd be like, come on, Tony, simmer down, <laughs> simmer down. That's different. Um, but I think there's a difference in comedy and parody. And when you are in character and you're speaking in parody, I, I give a lot of leeway and passes and I will never jump in the way of, uh, I'll never be that PC a politically correct comedian ish like right. show never because to me I don't think there should be rules in comedy. That's what makes comedy well, comedy. It's the rule of either everything's funny or nothing can. Be yeah, funny. people have done it since the days of you know Shakespearean plays. Uh, they've done it in the days of the Greek and Romans. People would create comedy, and by means of parody and satire, they would then either dissect the politics of the time or the social unjust. Or speak their mind. I mean, they've been doing it forever to be crude, crude humor. 
So I'm okay with that. I'm not going to change because the, you know, society has changed recently saying that you can't say certain things. So as long as it's within parody or you do it in a cool voice. <laughs> <laughs> Does a megaphone count as a cool voice? I would think it would, but I'm not 100% certain. I mean, it, it does. Uh, it does. It does. Oh. That's why Bill, this is Bill Clinton again. Okay. <laughs> They're so similar. Yeah, it's so much easier to say things to on with the megaphone. Like earlier, I had difficulty saying cunt, but now <laughs> when I have the megaphone, I, say, well, I can let it fly because this is Bill Clinton. And that's what he would do in office? Yes. Everything's <laughs> easier in parody. So Tony's not in trouble is the yeah. lesson to take away from that? Exactly. I'm on double secret probation. Double secret. Yeah. Uh. Double secret probation? What exactly is that, Tony? Explain that to me. Uh, that's a line from Animal House. Explain it. Uh, well, the, that's, uh, you know, like the dean of the college uh, decided to, like, put on this. Uh, like, he has to perform special favors yeah. to stay on the show. Yeah. To Andrew. Oh. All right. So wait, I'm, I'm getting I'm, the favors. So, I'm not giving them. All right. Oh, I'm okay with this. So getting back to the the parody element, basically, I'm the uh, carrot top of radio. Yeah, <laughs> I don't that, know if that's a good thing. Uh, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> don't go nowhere. The Rain Man Show will be right back. Have you ever wanted something so bad that you do just about anything for it? Well, that's exactly how we feel about you. That's right. AdamandEve.com wants you so bad. We're giving you 10 free gifts with your first order. You heard me right. That's 10 free gifts to spice up your love life. First, you'll get a sexy surprise for her. Second, an adventurous toy for him. And third, a little something we know you'll both enjoy. Plus, you'll get six full-length adult movies on DVD. And number 10, free shipping on your entire order. That's 10 free gifts for you shy types who've never tried Adam and Eve before. Just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy, a sexy piece of lingerie, or anything you desire. Just enter offer code DEAL30 at checkout, and you'll get all 10 free gifts, including free shipping. That's offer code DEAL30. That's D-E-A-L-30 at adamandeve.com. Welcome back. You're listening to The Rain Man Show on Rain Man Digital with your host, Michael Flores. All right, we're back. Rain Man Show. Uh, We were featuring some music from Moon Sorrow to help us get through the breaks. Uh, Again, when we do live shows for Rain Man, I'm literally doing everything behind this uh, desk. It's a lot more difficult than any other show that we do live. That's why you heard a few mistakes during the break. (laughs) Yeah, I'm telling you, man, I wrote that sentence at the very beginning of the show notes for a reason. I had that gut instinct, that feeling when I used to go on air with Dan. Like, listen, we probably shouldn't go live right now. (laughs) So anyways. um, Okay, so Andrew. What's up? Uh, I'm almost ready to enter the vortex. Almost. <laughs> okay, almost. Wow, uh, I, you're, you're, that you're, sounds uh, dirty. Oh, dear. Well, yeah. Andrew was pitching, was pitching an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Simmer down. Uh, Andrew, an was, idea. Andrew was sim- uh, pitching an idea um, for a game, which we're going to get to in a moment. I don't know if we're going to play it, but I'm going to let him explain it. It's going to be kind of, I mean, that alone is entertainment right there. Right, yeah. Is going to mm-hmm. hear him explain the game to us, and then we'll decide on air. Because that's how we do things. I don't, I don't like talking. Andrew wanted to talk to me before we went on air. Like, no, 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 no. No, I'll we talk to you on air. We, we, yeah, we talk about <laughs> things. I won't talk to you on, in uh, in private. Only on air. I <laughs> said, <laughs> uh, so save it for the show. So I'm gonna say, I have no idea what this game is. It could be a gay game, for all we know. It could be pin the tail on uh, Thomas. No, oh, on Jesus. me. If it's gonna be pin the tail, it's gonna be on me. Let's oh, be real. Oh, <laughs> good lord. <laughs> wow. <God. laughs> okay. Good lord. <laughs> um, yeah, you set him up. He knocks him down. I know. On your what, man? Oh yeah. Now, is this a game you created or something? No. Or is this? A- oh no way. No okay. way. Uh, this is a game uh, Wait, called. We're not ready yet, Thomas. Why'd you ask him the question? You you you're, you're, you're a little eager. Curious. You're a little you're a little eager to get into this vortex. I mean, <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right, all right. Gotta let's wait just, until Mike says so. Let's just do it then. If you're all you're all ready to go, all Andrew. Right. So let's do uh, it. Mm, okay. So the game is called Spyfall. Um, it is. Published by Cryptozoic here in the United States. Basically, it boils down to okay. You don't need to don't are, give it a plug. Yeah, don't give it a plug. But if they like it, he's they gotta such know where they a get plugger. It. I know. 
He's such a plug. I gotta let them know where they can get it if they like it anyway. He plugs sp- everything but the shit. I, I know. <laughs> I, 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 thank you. Thank you. Look at, okay. Tony, fuck you. <laughs> Three weeks ago, he got mad because I brought up Painted Vegas because we're an instigator. And then yeah, I, I said, everybody is an instigator of this network. I look at Tony because this is why Tony's smart. He knows everything is going on. Even though he keeps silent, he already knows what irks me. He knows him and David know me better than anybody. And that's actually something that has bothered me. I'm like, we're in the middle of promoting a show and Andrew will actually post other promotional things. Yeah. During the show. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't done that since uh... two weeks ago. Yeah. When you were last year. <laughs> Now, I gotta admit, your mental state right now and a live show, it's like a combination <laughs> of, like, mayhem right now. I mean, who knows where this show's going to end up now we're, because we're going into the vortex. Yeah. Seen, uh... All right. Okay. No more instigating. Let's get, let's get into this game. And if I decide to cut you off, then that means I'm done with the game and I just can't talk about it. I can't deal with it today. I totally I'm, get that. Let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> You're like my son. Oh my god! Good start. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get started. Okay. Don't even say okay. Let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get started, and if within the the time frame of the game you're explaining I don't like it, well, then no harm, no foul, and we'll just move on. And go ahead, Andrew. That's your. That's your cue. In Spyfall, we are all at a location. Uh, Everybody will know where we are at except for the spy. Um, I'm going to be passing out cards to each of you in a moment. So there is a link um, that I posted. Are they actual cards? They are actual cards, Okay, good. Now, do we have to go to this link in order to play? You, yes. Okay, explain the game first, and then we'll decide if we want that link. So. Might be a virus. (laughs) (laughs) Knowing you. So I will give you these cards. On these cards, there will be the location. And there will also be a role that you are playing at the location. So, for example, the... Now, is this going to be fun for the audience as well? Uh, hopefully. Okay. Um, I'll get all to right. why in just a moment. <laughs> oh, boy. This is why I wanted to talk to you before. <laughs> okay, it's all right. Go ahead. <laughs> so, for example, on the card, you might have the location be a movie theater, um, and your role might be an usher, that sort of a thing. So, okay. since there are four of us... Now, what's this game called again? Spyfall. Hmm. All right. Since there are four of us, three of us will know where we are at, and one person will not. That person is the spy. Goal of the game is for the people who know where we're at to figure out who the spy is, accuse them, call them out, and by unanimous agreement, um, is how callouts work. The spy's goal is to figure out where we are. The, the way that you do that. Okay. So the spy doesn't know where he's at. Spy has All no right. idea where I, I, we're I'm at. I'm going to end it now. That, yeah, he's bad at yeah, yeah, his job, I, I, is what I understand. I, you know, and when then we, we ask I, questions I, 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 back I, 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 and forth. That's and it. Blah, blah, blah. That's it. I was going to ask, you know. No, don't ask. No, no, no. no. It was to you, Mike. Yeah. If you were going to, like, play a sound that's like a gong, that says, no. End of segment. (laughs) Voice the vortex. (laughs) Okay. I think it's funny because Tony, you could hear me typing on the live show. Like, you'd hear me typing. I think Tony already did. Well, he's trying to bring something up right now. (laughs) Uh, Andrew, thank you for thinking of the show, but uh, I think we're going to have to pass on this. Don't worry about it. Think of another uh, game. That you think would translate well to radio I audiences. I, I think it's. It won't. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. It looks like right an now. interesting game from here. I, 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 well, the whole what, dynamic what? Between, for the game is, <laughs> is people are asking vague questions back and forth. But you're, so you're trying to be vague, but then on the nose enough so everybody else can know what you're doing. But then not give away your patience to the spy because the spy doesn't stop. <laughs> Just keep talking. He's that guy at the Oscars who would just keep going despite the time cutting off and going to commercial. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have opened that door. Yeah, thank you, Andrew. You're welcome. Once again, trying to be polite here. You thank this you on yourself. Yeah. I, oh, that just slap I, him right I now. I brought this on myself <laughs> because I was excited that someone was was uh, partaking Thinking about the show and participating in the show in terms of show prep. Um, like, my mistake. It. Again, <laughs> yeah, that, the very first just... sentence in the show notes summed it up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I want to talk yes. to you before. Thank you, Tony. Exactly. Because <laughs> ideally, I wanted to do a dry run. I guess before we got on, my so we better could judgment, like... we went live tonight. Yep. <laughs> Seriously, though? I'm done. Eight out of, <laughs> the eight game out is of done. Eight out of ten. Go, I'm, I'm go look it up. I'm going to have to get security in here. 
<laughs> Maggie! <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's security as well. The dogs might be useful. <laughs> yeah, drop a bomb on him. Yeah. <laughs> Christ. Yeah. Um, all right. Thank so, you. So now Too that we're out of the vortex, what else can we talk well, about? Well, okay, I, I'm trying to get. We might end up selling guns here soon to take. To, 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 well, what? Well, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. We need to, we, I think we all need to protect ourselves from Andrew, specifically you, Thomas. Yeah. So, um, you know, I was googling stuff and I found out that being a gun broker is actually fairly easy to do. Like, literally, I can get a license in a matter of weeks and I can start selling guns in Arizona. Really? Yeah. Like a gun runner to war or no, like no, somebody who owns no, a shop? No, I'm not going to be the next Lord of War with Nicolas Cage. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, it's just guns. Like you could actually sell handguns, rifles, legal weapons. You can sell them okay. to people in Arizona. Like, for example, a gun broker will be, let's say, Thomas, you want to buy a gun online. Sure, let's say. Uh, and you don't want the gun or the gun cannot be shipped to your house. It can't because right. there's no way to ensure that it's going to Thomas Cowley. Mm-hmm. So, you pick your favorite neighborhood gun broker, okay. <clears throat> me, Mike, right, and I. Then the gun then comes to me, and then I make sure it gets to you in ah, person. Okay. And I and I charge a marginal fee. Okay. And uh, 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 how many gun brokers are there then? There's Aaron? quite a bit, I'm sure. Aaron, come on, this is the Wawa West yeah. in Arizona. Yeah, I'm right. sure everybody's a gun broker. But I was thinking of doing it just because I want to buy some guns for the house for safety. Okay. And I figured, hey. Why spend the extra, you know, fee of getting a gun broker when I could just do it myself? I'll buy some guns from you. Will you really? Some? Yeah. Uh, my first client. Uh, keyword. <laughs> Does that surprise you? So, keyword. Sorry. Keyword. Yeah, Thomas. Some. I was going to say, there's a, there's a handful of guns that are being purchased. I, I'm going to be quitting the radio business soon. <laughs> getting into running guns. For Tony. Yeah. I don't think that's going to end good. Me and Tony running guns. Oh, God, no. You guys go down to... And not even a blaze of glory, just a blaze First of off, failure. Yeah, we're just the wrong shade of color to do <laughs> to get in that business, anyways. Like people are already going to be looking at sideways. Anyways, they're gonna think they're stolen. Yeah, it'll be like uh, the way of the gun. That movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm uh, I'm Benicio. I call it. <laughs> you could be Filippi. So it brings up another thing, just in terms of Arizona. I just love their lackluster. Things do have to be done in Arizona. Like I'm, I'm one hundred percent open to. I don't like government intrusion into our rights, but right. I just think it's funny. Like the more you read into Arizona, like the, the things, more wild west it is. It really is. Okay, like it really else? is wild, wild, wild west. Well, now they've recently Senator uh, our governor uh, Doug Ducey. I want to say his name is or Ducey. Such maybe a if bad it's last uppity, name. it is bad. Um, he just signs a direct shipping wine bill. In the state of Arizona. Okay, what is that? Now, that's good for our economy because Arizona has, within the last 10 years, Arizona has made a huge leap in terms of the wine business. As you know, that's what I've been doing on my off time, is going to, <laughs> no is going to northern Arizona and getting some wines from the uh, wineries. Um, now, the governor of Arizona is deciding to, to allow people. What this bill does is you can actually... Order wine directly to your door now. Door to door alcohol. Yes, <laughs> that if this isn't the greatest country in the world, <laughs> getting wine delivered to your door. I mean, that's fantastic. I mean, go ahead. Andrew. There are a lot of services that that do that already. In, like I, prostitutes. Wait, do, deliver alcohol? Oh yeah. Oh, I thought you meant I, I've goods. already looked into it. Are you sure? Because I've I've had those days where I just want a beer. Are you talking like wine of the month? No, club? no, no. That no, they've no, been no, doing no. that. Wine clubs have been doing that. In fact, okay. I, I've been doing that recently with a wine club. No, now you can actually call certain places. Now, I'm not talking uh, having a, a membership at a wine club no, no, where no. they've already you know checked you out and they know that the address is going there and like UPS calling a Bevmo. It yes. <clears throat> Let me give you the details. Okay, Ducey signs a direct shipping wine bill uh, that will allow Arizona. Arizonans uh, to order wine by phone or online and have it delivered directly to their home or businesses. The bill uh, pushed by California based group free. The grapes was sponsored by a dozen members of the legislature. Uh, another 21 members listed themselves as co-sponsors support came from both parties. According to the wine Institute, a public policy arm of California winemakers that co-founded free grapes. Arizona was one of the handful of states that did not allow direct shipping for most out of state wineries. So now we're going to be able to do a lot of out of state wineries as well. Okay, so it's it's less door to door like some, like some app would let you kind of thing, but it's more that if you wanted to order specific stuff from California, for example, 
and have it shipped to your house like a package, right. you couldn't do that before. Yes. See, I wouldn't have even thought of that. I would have just tried it. <laughs> Yeah. And been fined or something. Right. Previously, customers in Arizona could only uh, directly order wines from small wineries, uh, defined in the statute as those that made 20,000 gallons a year or less. Mm. So it helped the smaller vineyards, but then the, the larger vineyards were kind of out of luck. Uh, the t- largest Arizona wineries, uh, which is Page Springs and Arizona Stronghold, uh, are about that size. So oh. basically, it's opening up our borders to allow more alcohol to come in. Woo. So, so you're going to get nice. blitzed. Oh, I'm going to be ordering from all wineries. It's going to be a wine house. You think next week we'll uh, have some influence of that wine? Yeah. Running into the show? Possibly. <laughs> Are you going to come up with an official Rain Man wine? Like a oh, that'd pick? Be, that'd, Ooh, a pick? There you go. That's a good idea. Tony. Thank you. Marketing right there. That's a good idea. Like maybe maybe I sponsor a wine myself. There you to go. get it out I'm there, so, I'm, or they I'm sponsor this show and it has the Rain Man title go. there, and we and you talk know what? about it. Like, like some uh, wineries will do that, you know. You there know, like write a, this down. Write that down. Write that down. All right. Yeah, uh, I think I we could you know keep sponsoring other things. What would okay? So yeah, g- yeah I think that you know, like no, for example, you know, to expand it even more is like uh, like uh, you, you like let's say. We pick a wine. Let's say that you and me, Andrew. Okay. We go ahead and mm-hmm. like, uh, like if Mike sh- ships a bottle, and then we do a blind test. You know that mm-hmm. sort of deal. Like, uh, I don't know. Do, Sam, you, do you trust anything dealing with blindfolds around Andrew? <laughs> 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 my cons- My question is, what? T- okay, so Rain Man Winery Vintage Twenty Seventeen. You guys, these are what some is, great ideas. I'm what is lie. your? wine like do you get a red table blend what do you get a blush going on i, I, I do like I, I do I like i love how he actually mm-hmm. yeah well, he, he's gay, gay guys know wine. wine that's why i like gay guys that's how it starts but oh, I, that man. doesn't mean i want to have a relationship with him yeah. why not <laughs> but yes. we could talk wine that's how he uh that's how he uh, breaks bread you know with uh other people you know uh feels them out literally yep um i, I like i like blends yeah i'm a blend guy i also like mm-hmm. cabernets uh moscato is too uh dry or too sweet. sweet so you like dry yeah cool you think See, more and more a... people are really, uh, you know, getting into that wine tasting because you know you think about it oh. more often. I bet you a majority of our listeners are are big time wine. I drinkers. can answer this question for you. Yeah, Walmart now does wine tastings. Oh. Walmart. I, I, you know what? I just quit drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm you, you, done. You see something wrong? I'm done drinking wine. Oh, it's no longer cool. Just water. Oh. Yeah. If the guy, if if an old guy almost dying can serve me wine, I don't want. I don't want to drink. You mean it. those uh, Walmart greeters, those senior citizens? Listen, you mean they could be slush? I, I want to feel. <laughs> I want to feel important when I drink wine. I, I'm doing it because I have low self esteem. Do you guys not remember the beginning of the show? There those was pictures. <laughs> when I drink wine, I want to feel important, and I can't feel important if I'm drinking wine at Walmart. <laughs> well, then we won't recommend a wine from Walmart. I think. I think we should. We should definitely grab on this. The official. Rayman wine. Of you the imagine month. if our wine was sponsored by Walmart, I then oh, would God. maybe do it, but oh, I still have God. very low self esteem. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you'd be reaching the uh, the hillbilly. You can get our wine now oh, and God. select Walmarts Ugh. and the occasional <laughs> occasional uh, Kmart during the Blue Light Special. <laughs> Why don't you have like a like a like a recommended moonshine? Yeah, there you I go. mean I, I know money is money, but I, that's yeah. where I have to draw the line. I, that, I am a douche in that aspect. I would not. Allow my product to be in something like that. Is that is that douchey? You mean you're it's, not a sellout? I, I it's just, a little no, no, douchey, no, no. but it's I would admirable. be a sellout if it was at a big, com- a good company. Like if Gucci wanted to sponsor wine, we would do wine. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, of course you would, because you're not dumb. But now, but, 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 but hold on. But am I am I dumb? Because I mean, let, let's say Jacqueline Smith, you know the old Charlie's Angels lady. She's made a, a fortune off clothing at Kmart, and countless yeah. other celebrities have made countless millions. Branding themselves at Target. Target's not as bad. Target Target's not as that bad because you can say Target and people wouldn't know. <laughs> <Like> Target. <laughs> uh, Walmart, though, it just, I, I don't know. Like, I, I think I would be stupid. I would pass up, I think I would pass up on millions of dollars just because of uh, solely of a, for appearance purposes. I would understand. Even if we called it Walmart. <laughs> we're, we're both douches. Wal- yeah. Wal- Walmart. Walmart. 
Guabarte. Well, yeah. oh, though it's, Span- it's a Spanish wine. Yeah, like, where, I like uh, so where's your wine at, Michael? Yeah, like a party, Walmart-tay. like a social gathering. Would you even tell people though if it was Walmart? It's like where's your, where's your wine located? Oh, uh, you know nowhere. wherever I wines at, are sold. <laughs> I, I and, and, and honestly wherever don't mind. I, I look at it this way. I mean, yes, Walmart is a certain level that you know most of us are probably you know iffy about, but it's reaching the masses. Go ahead. And, and reaching and the more masses, the more buco. And the more buco. All right. Buco bucks. Well, imagine, okay, we're at a nice gathering of sorts with the upper class, upper society. The right, hoity society, okay. Kind of people okay. we are. Hello, Mike. And I'm How like, you know, I'm swishing my wine. Mm. Like, Hello. More uh, wine, sir. Hello, to- Tony. And you're now in. Oh, I'm going to set the scene real fast. Tony, you're going to. You want to find out where my wine's at. Oh, okay. Like, I heard you got into the wine business, Mike, and my wine is at Walmart, okay? Mm. All right. And action. This is a uh, elegant uh, bouquet, Mike. I really uh-huh. am impressed with this uh, mm-hmm. with this wine. Mm-hmm. Could you uh, you mind uh, sharing some secrets and at least telling me where exactly this vintage is from? Well, it's a select vintage. Limited series. Oh, really? Yeah. Limited. I like. It's, it's that. hard I to like find. That. It's hard to find. Oh, that, I mean that. That's that's uh, that makes the demand even greater. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The demand even is greater if it's so limited. It's true. You must tell me exactly where this wine can be found. It, it's only select stores. Okay. Oh, that, that's that's select good. Stores. That's good. Uh-huh. Yes, select yes, stores. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. So come on, Michael. Don't toy with me. Tell me exactly where. I could find this fine vintage. Uh, it, it's at a store, um, a specialty store where they they sell ah. various things of oh, sorts. Okay, good, good, including good. a very vast selection of wine. Ah, yes. Uh, have you heard of uh, Walmart? Walmart. <laughs> hmm. Walmart. Hmm. Sounds exotic. No, no, it's more Walmart. Walmart. It, it's a Spanish owned ah, yes. <laughs> company. Yes. Import. Import company. Uh, Spain? Walmart, Spain? Walmart. Must be from Spain, Europe. Oh my God, Mike. This is... In fact, as I'm saying it, it sounds better if I go even put more emphasis. Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> Walmart. Just then, all the sexy women have surrounded me now. Yes. Right. I'm now the uh, most. Imp- what's that guy from Dos Equis? I'm now him. The most interesting man in the world. Yeah. Walmart. Have you heard oh, of this man's yeah. wine? It comes uh, you, from Walmart. Yes. yes. You can get the details from my manservant, Andrew. Uh. Uh, am I now? <laughs> Is, uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, uh, could, you, could you uh, could you put on your chaps, please? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Mr. Andrew, Mr. Andrew. Master Flores has specifically requested that I do not have any chaps on oh, this evening. Okay. Uh, well, uh, well, you'll forgive me if I don't look directly at you while I talk to you. <laughs> what? He's naked in this situation. <laughs> at least until, at least I, until know, I have a couple more bottles of this yes, wine please. that I can find from Juan Marte. Give, give me a quick, give me a bottle quickly, so I don't have to keep looking at you. <laughs> what? Where is your? Where can I find Juan Marte? I'm just waiting for Aunt Thomas or Tony to say, uh, "When will the man boys be here soon? The lady boys. <laughs> when will the lady boys be here soon? <laughs> they play me Feralis. What's the name of this song? Is it You're like right. Feralis or like that? Right, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm a homo. <laughs> <laughs> See, it can happen to anyone. Uh, you know, ser- I think there, there, I think there is like serious financial opportunity here, Mike. I, I have to I think, agree. It, it, I think you are. I'm, I'm being stupid about it, but you are onto something. I, I should. I, I'm a wine drinker. We talk about it with yes, people every week, yes. almost. Um, I think it's a thing. Yeah, it could be. Do I we really have to be like that classy? Because like wine, well, you, it's you, what classy, do you want? Right? Like freaking downers, like upper and downers. <laughs> that you're like, can we get into drugs? <laughs> he wants roofies. I got he wants can we, roofies. Can we at least run. partner with like Mad Dog, like 2020 oh, or something? Like, yeah, I, get you. Yeah, I don't think we're classy enough to peddle a five dollar bottle of wine. Five dollars, like, not hey, classy enough for five bucks. Man. I can get classy with the best of them. I could completely <laughs> change the tone of the show if I need to. And Are you try to push the wine to the ghettos? What is wrong with you? Yeah. I mean, have you, come on. You have heard right now, Andrew, don't be, don't segregate people, okay? <laughs> because Obama right now is trying to, you know, push Section 8 housing into the upper societies of Baltimore, into the nice neighborhoods, trying to blend people in to make everyone feel like they're a part of something, whether you're in the bad neighborhood or the good neighborhood. Let's not shut anybody out. Just like, just like Obama and the ingenious plan of putting Section 8 housing 
in nice neighborhoods. How could that go wrong? We can't. In fact, he'll fix the problem, Thomas. It will <laughs> fix the problem. Because as soon as you take someone out of the ghetto, they'll put their guns away. And yeah. they'll, they'll, re- they'll be reformed gangsters. And I think we should do the same thing with wine. And I will take it even further. <laughs> they'll, they'll give the guns away, and they'll give it to the official Rain Man Gun Brokering Service. Oh, sponsored by Tony? It's yes. A new, it's yes. a new conglomerate. <laughs> oh, my God. This is probably... This has been such a... So Rain Such Man. an informative show. I am so excited with the ideas that we've thrown out there. Just Wine a, and gun broken. Yeah. Just another step in the rung of, of Rain Man world domination. I think we're confused rednecks. <laughs> Weapons <laughs> and wine. Gun bro- oh my god, what? that's w awesome. Squared. It's a new show. Weapons, Weapons and wine. And wine. <laughs> Don't go nowhere. The Rain Man show will be right back. Welcome back. You're listening to The Rain Man Show on Rain Man Digital with your host, Michael Flores. All right. Hello, Rain Man Show. If you miss any part of this broadcast, you can find us on iTunes and Stitcher. Hey, make sure you guys are uh, leaving us reviews on iTunes. I feel a little lonely on we, there. We count ourselves more off yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, How- we count our worth off yes, that. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. Did you see that story on uh, my crush, my other crush? Um, uh, no, not Daisy Ridley. I know we were talking Kim about Kardashian. her. No, no, we were talking about her off air, but uh, it's actually here. Hold on one second. How many? You have a lot of questions. Oh, I got to fix your mic. Hold on. All right, talk again. Talking again. How's that sound? Keep going. Keep going. We're still talking. <laughs> oh, yeah, that does not sound good. You have a lot of crushes, though, Mike, to be honest. You got Daisy Ridley now, Kim Kardashian, Kieran Knightley. Uh, any random crazy woman with a knife that you get bored <laughs> and ha- see across the street. Uh, I, I I mean, anybody else, obviously Maggie as one, but that's, I don't know that's a crush anymore. If that's just like standard everyday operations. Tony, you know him. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 God. That's what you get for not paying attention to me. <laughs> oh, it's, it's fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Dan Dice Radio. Oh, oh God. Pain in Vegas. You, hey. you claimed it earlier in the show, man. <sighs> okay, now it's fixed. How many God. crushes do you have? This is why, listen, it goes back to the very first sentence. Exactly. <laughs> very first sentence. You called it earlier. Hey, just give uh, enough wine to Mike and, you know, he'll think anything's a crush. Even Andrew. Oh, come on. No. <laughs> I, Jody Arias, the uh, woman who mur- her murdered her uh, husband. Oh, Christ. And oh, right. oh, I my said God. crazy Wait. one with a knife. <laughs> Did I, not? I was like going, uh, if he, that name rang a bell and I'm like going, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I Jesus. mean, well, okay. There yeah, was a the justification for this. No, t- oh, yeah, tell okay. me this isn't steamy, okay? So her, she's in prison now for life with no chance of parole. So you're automatically like, oh yeah, oh yeah, owned up. Oh yeah, um, conjugal visits. Here I go. <laughs> uh, Jody Arias shocking prison shopping list revealed. Dildos and chocolate. Pretty much. <laughs> That's a night, right? That's a date night. I, sure. I, you're joking, but it's true. It's, oh, it's, that's actually the yes. story. Mm-hmm. Sex toys. Well, <laughs> nope. this one isn't so attractive. Zit cream. Eh. Eh, yeah, that kind of you gotta that, look that, your best. That man. brought the that brought the party down to zero though, because with the sex toys, I'm like, hey, I'm like in my mind, I'm throwing my hands up. <laughs> <laughs> And then Zip Cream, like, oh. <laughs> Silence. Oh, I guess I'll go home dick immediately. Yeah. And, 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 and it says also Bino. What is Bino? Bino is a gastrointestinal uh, enzyme that uh, makes so you uh, like so, an so, so we do not fart. So we know where those sex toys are, sex toys are going to end up then. <laughs> okay, never mind. This, uh, why, <laughs> I the story just ruined your I don't think mood. they're a suppository, but I might be wrong. Yeah, it's can, not can going you there. Go, can you get a fact check on that, Tony? Just to make sure. Let's see what I, Bino is. I Bino? take Bino. I ah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> He's like an encyclopedia just for the worst information ever. I thought it's I a, thought Bino was like canned beans. No, 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 no. Bino yeah. is a is a digestive aid that breaks down. I, I, thought, it like, I, thought, it, I thought it was like an, an off brand to beanie okay. beanie weenies. No, no, no. Okay, so for I'm example, being serious. So Michael, so you protein shakes, right? Yeah, yeah. Protein farts. I don't do that. Okay, well, I've, I've been I've been ingesting protein since I was fifteen. That my body has been acclimated. Okay, so. Example, like I don't get because a lot of say, people tell me that protein will make you gassy. It never happens. It did when I was younger, but my body is now filled <laughs> up. I think to the point where it just loves it. Anyway, uh, Bino will help 
to get, get rid of the protein. So right? she's having sex with herself, and she's ingested. She's a um, having she's she's di- having digestive she problems. Yeah. I should say. Yeah, she uh, has gas. This what that's what Bino is for. Bino is an enzyme based diet dietary. Never mind. I'm not. I'm not. Take, tur- I'm not I'm turned not on anymore. anymore. Yeah. Take Bino before there will be no gas. <laughs> For God's sake. He literally does plug everything else. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God. I, he's like that scene from you Wayne's World 2 me. with the Pepsi and the whole fucking thing. I'm surprised your shirt does. It has goddamn dogs or unicorns with 3D glasses. I don't know what I expected. This shirt there. is awesome. Of course the glasses it is. With the Andrew is, he's like, I learned the facts of life by watching the facts of life. He's like, he's Jim Carrey, cable yeah. guy. He is. He's creepy like him. He knows all the commercials. Oh, he tries to rape somebody. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Uh, so you actually, is that, did you just make up that, that lingo? Or did, no, was that's, that, actually, that's their, actually that's their, their thing. actual, their, wow. Wow. their promo He's been an avid user, apparently. Yeah. Man, Andrew is. Do you, okay, you know can how you do this with Rain Man at least? Can you like talk? I, I would love do to have, we have like a catchy a, sling. I would love to have forty nine percent geek, fifty one percent douche. That's pretty fucking catchy. I know, but it doesn't have I the, the name of the product. As long as it's a product, the, I think that's the goal. Rain he Man needs is a, product. a product to sell on the show. And it can't be the show itself. <laughs> so if you have Rain Man Digital Wine, he's going to be all over that shit. Yeah. Rain Man Digital Wine, I'll be drunk. I'll be oh my God. on show. I'll be like, man, these notes and this You'll bouquet, be ready for it's fisting. fantastic. All right. Okay. Enough of this Vortex. <laughs> um, our, oh, Vortex. And then the, 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 new, vortex, the news guy is the Vortex. Yeah. Um, are you ready for news? I'm, I'm ready. Okay. Hold on. I got my bottle of, of Rain Man Vintage. Oops. I still have one biscuit on. Go ahead. I was just waiting for raining men. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> it's okay. Don't wait for music. Just o- go ahead. Obama opens the first gender neutral bathroom at the White House. This is kind of interesting. Uh, White House has opened its first gender neutral ba- gender neutral restroom in what is seen as a symbolic step by President Barack Obama to protect the rights of lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community in the workplace. Hmm. Uh, the White House spokesman Jeff Tiller said the all-gender restroom is in the Eisenhower Executive Office Building, where many employees have meetings and offices and is next door to the West Wing, which houses the president's offices. So let me get this straight. It's a bathroom that's open to anyone? Yep. Okay. Uh, Do me a favor. While you continue reading that topic, can you, Tony, bring up, um, look up a percentage of transgender people in the United States? Or in the world. Do in the world. Okay. Yeah, please. Continue, Andrew. The innovative, or the initiative, rather, uh, is the latest in a series of actions by Obama to support the LGBT community. On Wednesday, the president issued an executive order barring companies that do business with the federal government from discriminating against LGBT staff. Um, the White House allows staff and guests to use restroom consistent with their gender identity, which is in keeping with the administration's existing legal guidance on the issue, Tiller said in a statement. Um, Obama has taken a firm stand over the past year or so on gay and also transgender rights, an area of debate that has become hotly contested. Do you have those numbers, Tony? I uh, have the numbers for the United States. Okay, give me that. Point two point three percent. Okay, how many people? Give me the number. I want the actual number tally as well. Okay, yeah. it's uh, the estimate is at seven hundred thousand people. Okay, you have almost a million people now. I was reading an article just the other day, about two or three days ago, saying that I knew the number was close to a million, seven hundred thousand roughly. Now those are seven hundred thousand people who have openly admitted. There's a study showing. It's actually a pretty legit study showing that there is an even larger amount who is afraid to come out, which would make sense. This is transgender? Transgender. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. So if we have, let's, let's, give, let's, be, um, let's be frugal with the number. Let's say the number is 600,000. Okay. Mm-hmm. But also let's compare the how many people are still in the closet at this day and age, Andrew, when we're all, <laughs> when we're all, when society is slowly becoming more inclusive to the gay culture, right? Okay, there's still a lot of people because of religious reasons 
families, how they grew up, who are not willing to come out. Now, let's take those numbers, a fraction of that number, and add that to the transgender number. I know they're different, but let's say there's they, they live with the same fear of not being right. accepted, okay? Let's say there's a million and some people walking around this country transgender. Okay. okay. I think they should have a bathroom. I agree. I, I, I really think they should have a bathroom. I think it's fair. Do what now? Question. You know, but what's the think about it? it would we rather put a transgender bathroom or ha, or or have the chance of there being a guy trying to take advantage a guy or or I don't want to say a guy, but a person, an individual? No, no, no. Yeah, a guy or a woman. Let's say we do have a guy or a woman taking advantage of just going into whatever bathroom they want and their pervs. Hmm. Would we want? Would we rather take that risk? Or just give the million and a half some people in this country their own bathroom and call it a night. I don't have a problem with that. If, if there is a growing... I think creepy people are going to do creepy things regardless. But I'm saying let's the problem is fixed by giving a bathroom for transgenders. Right. No, that's do you what get saying. what I'm saying? I'm mm-hmm. saying, you know, the the risk of the creep or, or pe- like perverted person doing right. something is still going to be there no matter what we do. Right. Why not just have the bathroom? Yeah, I don't. I honestly don't think it's a big deal. Ooh, it's not going. It's frankly. not going. We spend, and I know some people saying, "Well, who's going to pay for this?" It's one other room. Uh, yeah, one it, other it, toilet and sink. There's so many costs that we put money into that are that are are worthless, completely worthless. Like the federal building spending countless million of, millions of dollars, as we talked about a couple of weeks ago, on Starbucks. Oh we're, yeah, exactly. We're, we're paying for them to have lattes. I'd rather take that money, put that money to good use, and let somebody feel comfortable when they're taking a shit. I, I don't feel that, comfortable taking a shit in public anyway. This show, <laughs> <laughs> ever. This show is about common sense, and I think a common sense approach would be: Hey, guess what? Here's a bathroom from a, for for a very marginal fee to the people. Or to yeah. whatever business decides to do. I don't think it should be mandatory because that would be government, you know, uh, getting involved. And I'm not a fan of that. However, I do think businesses and certain government buildings, I, why not? Just have it. If, if you know your area is high, obviously you don't want to put it in an area that the demographic's low. But right. if there's a high demographic of transgender, let's say the San Francisco area, which we all know. Yeah. Then why not? I think it makes perfect sense. It wouldn't cost that much more. Yeah. Let's get real. Is right. it? And then it's better than putting them, putting the poor transgender folk inside of a bathroom in the in the heartland of the South where some redneck would be like, I don't want to take a shit next to some transgender. <laughs> they might get their transgenderness all over me. Did that redneck just wake up from a bender? Yes. <laughs> I was drinking Rain Man's wine. <laughs> Got it from the Walmart. While shooting some guns. <laughs> Late at night. <laughs> Purchased by, from Tony. Purchased yes. from Tony, a Filipino, and he's pretty damn cool for being a Filipino. <laughs> as long as he ain't transgender, I, I don't want to, tra- I don't want to, I don't want to go to the bathroom with a transgender. Is it illegal to use an opposite gender restroom in the United States? I know that a few years Is ago. Is it illegal for what? For a, a for male a to use a woman's a or a woman or to use a ma- male. I, I know that here in Arizona we tried to pass. I don't think it's illegal or legal. I think it's one of those areas. I don't. I don't think it's illegal. I think anybody can technically. I think anybody can go in any bathroom they want. Because I know that we tried to pass something in 2013, and Texas tried to do something similar last year. Well, there is a computer in front of you. you could Google it while we were talking. <laughs> well, I, I did. The shots fired. Did you find something? That's how I found out that <laughs> it was. I don't here think it is. I think it's just, Texas. I don't think it is. I think it's more that if somebody was caught doing something illicit. In that's one the of key those, word. Yeah. That's the key word, illicit. Then you'd have an issue. But then you're not, it's not illegal that you were in the bathroom. It's that you were doing the illicit thing in the bathroom, you know. Nah. All um, right. Uh, what else do we have in the news, Andrew? A woman is arrested for selling Donald Trump branded heroin. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sounds yeah. like our type of business model. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's expand, you know. It, <laughs> he thought we were too classy for wine. Let's get into the heroin Let's business, too. Yeah. Weapons, wine, and smack. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He even, he even knows the street term. Yes. Nice. A New Hampshire woman was arrested a few days ago for selling heroin with the name of none other than Donald Trump branded on the bags. According to the union leader correspondent, 
Darcy Hall was busted after a confidential informant managed to organize two heroin buys, one at a McDonald's <laughs> and another at a mini mart. She had been under investigation by the police and the state attorney general's uh, drug task force. Hey, guys, this is Donald Trump. Now, I, 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 I'm going to let you guys in a little secret because I listen to your show. I'm a fan of your show. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, cool. This is actually an inside grab at trying to get more voters. I, I'm actually okay with the woman selling Trump drugs. Is it tremendous? It's part of making America great again. <laughs> so, yeah. we're keeping, we're not, see, I'm not, the key here, Rain Man Show, the key mm. is I'm not selling to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not keeping selling it in state. to the Muslims. We're keeping it. We're in... keeping it within our borders. See, I was. Cons- I'm, in fact, I'm thinking of building a wall around our heroin <laughs> to keep it safe from the ingrates. <laughs> like so, a heroin city of some it's sort. It's all part of my plan to keep America great. Look it up. <laughs> it's true. Is it? It is. <laughs> that explains their voting. Oh, geez, they're all lying. <laughs> <laughs> that explains everything. My God. I mean, why would you do that? Wait, look out. He's talking again. Drugs are actually a part of the plan. (laughs) A lot of people are on Fox News. I hate them, by the way. Megyn Kelly, always on her period, apparently. Always bleeding out of some (laughs) place. Out her nose. Uh, And you know what? Like, how do you think? They're always trying to debate how I'm getting my voters. It's simple. Heroin. (laughs) I slip drugs into their water. By means of this woman here. And we're not live right now, right, guys? We're not live? No. Okay, no, good. of course right, not. Good. And yeah, and not even Mr. recording. President. That's how I'm taking the country by storm. <laughs> by it's all for the good of America. Because we're going to make America great. It's true. <laughs> Should I, we got to look that up. I thought that... You look it up. <laughs> Trump sent people after her because she wasn't giving him royalties. I think that's what... They, really? I think that's what Trump wanted people to believe. <laughs> He needs the money for the wall. Why would you think you could put someone famous on that and not have that be found or, I mean, or spread around? I mean, oh man, get when... some more of that Trump. That Trump. <laughs> You're not looking at it from a marketing standpoint. The name Trump is a brand, and it's an important brand. Is there well, really some druggie out there who's yes. like, you know what? It's heroin. Yeah, it's pretty bad, but it's Trump Envision brand. Yes, no, hold like, no, hold I'm, on. I'm injecting it right into my vein, and I'm like thinking. Uh, who do I want to run the next four years? <laughs> oh, it's right there. Oh, it's right there on the needle. <laughs> it's there on the needle. So let me so, just uh, let me just sit back. So you mock at this, but <laughs> with ecstasy, this is actually a really uh, popular thing. Like they brand pills by like logos and like Superman's red Buddhas and stuff like that. Yeah, quiet Angel. What do you I'm do in your dragon. free time? I consume Listen, information. That's all I Thomas, do. Thomas, he's autistic. Have you not forgotten? <laughs> and autistic people know things about everything, just yeah. random things. Listen, this this guy is the single best get for the show we've ever had. He's, he's an encyclopedia a, of random he's nonsense. He's a gay autistic person. <laughs> that is the best person you could ever have on the show. Okay, what else do we have in the news, Andrew? What else do we have in the news? Justin Bieber is in the news again. Uh, he's being accused of appropriating. Well, he's, cute. he's not cute. You say procreating? He's a he's appropriating. Hey, the guy, oh, oh, the gay guy, just said he wasn't cute. So nah, go ahead, no, Andrew. Andrew. Justin Bieber is accused of appropriating black culture with his new blonde dreadlocks, and people yeah. are annoyed because when black people wear the style, they are stereotyped as druggies and are unkempt. Says one fan. I'll, I'll be honest with you. When I see, I have to disagree with that statement. When I see a black person with dreadlocks, I don't think anything. I, when I see a white person, a hipster. With dreadlocks, I think I think, I think you're homeless or you're high as hell right yeah. now. Yeah, that is honestly, true. I, I never even thought of I that. I don't. When I see a black person with dreadlocks, I just think it's their it's their thing. It's, it's their a style. Hair. It's their style. But when you see a white person, you're like, oh, that guy's on something. I, I He's think, smoking right now. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. he may not so I'm not the only one. No, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, That's what I do totally too. You're right. In I fact, profile the white guy about it. Yeah. In fact, there's a That's guy. That's reverse racism. How dare you? It's just flat out racism. <laughs> in fact, I, I work out next to this guy, a white dude who wears dreadlocks and he reeks. He stinks. I'm like, dude, take, cause they don't take they showers when they have those dreads. Right. And he absolutely is. Mally, I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> That's uh, the one thing I don't get about the dreadlock look. I mean, you can't wash your hair with that. You can. Does, you absolutely you can. can. Yes, I mean, you couldn't. You can. People don't, don't wash know. their hair because they're so, lazy. Let me insult fucks. the, the gay we, we autistic have, encyclopedia. Uh, How do dreadlocks work? Okay, white people can, but 
Black people can't. We have I have black people in my family. Black believe it or not, hair. you do. Black people, yeah, many I do. reasons. Uh, and my nephew's black, and uh, they don't. Black people don't wash their hair all the time. They don't. They, they, I mean, I had my brother dated a girl for about three years who was black. We're very close to her in the family, and she didn't. She would go weeks without without washing their hair because their hair dries out. It's because they don't produce oil on their scalp. Is that true? As is that much a racist oil comment? Don't no, dead serious. Is that just like my ex-wife's, uh, you know, father who who told them, <laughs> them that told them that they had uh, tails? She told us, oh yeah. God. What? The f- <laughs> yeah, my my ex my ex wife thought black people had tails until oh she was twelve God. or thirteen God, years are you old. Kidding me? Because her father was so like typical Mexican gangster, like he was a gangster, <sighs> and you know Mexican gangsters are hate black people. Um, and that was the lie he told all his kids that black people have tails. <laughs> That's oh dumb. my god! No, but le- legitimately, Horrible. they don't produce as much oil on their scalp, so they don't have a Is need to science? wash it. Is yes, for real? It's, it's science. Yes, and to bring research. science to the show. Know. I'm the fact checker, and you're fact checker. <laughs> 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 Is that what you just said? <laughs> I, uh, by the way, I was, uh, hold That's on. the official By, by the way, by the way, I was in parody when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I was. All right, go ahead. What else do we have in the news, Andrew? <laughs> What else do we uh, have in the news? Iceland is big here in the news. Uh, the Prime Minister steps aside after protests over the Panama Papers uh, revelations, and this is breaking literally as of a day ago. Yeah, they're they're in a state what of happened? anarchy. Go ahead. So, Iceland's um, Prime Minister, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, but he's became the he's become the first major casualty of the Panama Papers scandal, which is a big, huge um, oil racketeering you know thing. it's thing. basically all these uh all these big high political people you know like they've been hoarding money and putting in offshore accounts <gasps> shock i know but like it's it's tied directly into the oil industry <gasps> i know shock. heaven forbid corruption yeah. oh my god I, I mean people have been putting money in offshore accounts shell companies is how they're it's doing JD it yeah. that's how they're doing it is via mm-hmm. shell companies and yeah. Technically, is that even? I, I could be wrong. Technically, I don't think that that's illegal. I think and I it think is. That, not, no, I it's don't think sure. it's. I, I think the way they operate the now, if the shell company is done to actually perform illegal activities, then yeah. yes. But to have fake businesses, I do not think that's illegal. I could be wrong, and I'll look it up, and we'll cover on the next show. We don't have time to do it right now, but I don't think it's illegal to do that. I think the problem is. It, because if it was, I think the problem is is ethics. I think it's an ethical issue. That's why that's the people. Exactly right. That's why the people are rioting right now. It's ethical. It is not illegal. Mm. It's a concern as to, okay, if you have a shell company, why are you trying to save your money? Because you don't want to pay taxes to the yeah. government. Are you running illegal businesses? It brings up a lot of questions, and there's no way to track your money, and that's the fear of it. If you can't track someone's money who's leading your country. That's scary because what yeah. are they doing? Yeah, and I, I think that's that. the problem is the ethical, uh, the ethical side of things. Go ahead with the uh, with the topic. Sorry. What was planned as a mass protest in Reykjavik on Tuesday uh, has turned into a muted satisfaction as demonstrators vented their anger following revelations that the prime minister once vowed or once owned, and his wife still owns an offshore investment company worth with multi million uh, pound claims on Iceland's failed banks. Um, so he's profiting off of his own country's failures. failures is yeah. what's happening, and the, and the wow. pictures ah, okay. coming out from this protest in Reykjavik are absolutely insane. There's millions and millions of people in front of what I assume is their governmental building. Um, it's absolutely astonishing. Uh, let's see another Finnish Icelandic name here. Um, we're going to go with him by the oil trader, the fish oil trader, um, is quoted as saying, we were hoping parliament would be dissolved. Um, he said, one of a few hundred to brave freezing northeasterly wind on Parliament Square in downtown Reykjavik. Of course, we're happy the prime minister has stepped down, but we're not satisfied with who's taking over for him. Who, and with, do, do they already know who's taking over? Because as of the, is this updated so. news? Because as of this morning, he was saying, the Prime Minister was saying, he's not stepping down. Right. So he had, I haven't read up on it. He is stepping down now. He is stepping down, yes. Amazing. Yeah. Wow, look at the power of the people. Mm-hmm. See, guys, this is, uh, this is where is this? Norway? Iceland. 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 Okay. Yeah. Guys. Iceland's a pretty damn good country. It yeah. is. Okay. 
Now, if something can happen like this, it shows you the power of the people. It also shows you in a country that doesn't isn't known for corruption, as far as I'm aware, and I'm they're not. I admit they're not. that I'm ignorant. You're right. Subject, no, they aren't. Not known for corruption and scandals. They're actually known like this. for being a really good country. Yeah, they have like a 97 percent literacy rate. The U.S. is like in like a half that I think. Yeah. If we're lucky. What does that tell you about the country where we know everything is fucked? Oh yeah, <laughs> hands down. Yeah, hands down. Yep. That should um, make you ask questions. Yeah, power the people, man. And, and it goes to show you that something like that could someday... See, I, I talk a lot against protests and people who boycott. I, I shit talk the people... Who do it for nothing. Who do important. it for no reason or for stupid reasons. Yeah. Now, if there's a reason that's threatening the very livelihood of our people, you better believe I'll be the first guy out there, redneck style, with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> and wine. Bought by Tony. Yep. Yes, Sponsored and wine, Ray Ray and wine from Walmart. <laughs> And we'll throw in heroin. <laughs> yeah. And we'll pour some for the homies that die yeah. while, along the way. Jesus. All right. What else does it say? Uh, the move still requires a formal approval of both the junior partner in the center right coalition government, uh, the Independence Party, and Iceland's president. Um, and a snap election is still a possibility. So, from my understanding, the prime minister's office did say this morning that he will not be resigning. However, everybody else around him says that he is resigning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's my understanding of it. I could totally see Trump doing that same thing. Yeah. This is like Bernie just, Sanders' greatest. Uh, I could totally see him losing the presidency. Oh, yeah. And he's like, I Still just got running. elected. I got elected. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to the White House right now. So the, the key paragraph. Look it up. <laughs> it's a Bernie Sanders dream. Right. So the key paragraph here is the prime minister um, who has repeatedly denied any wrongdoing had earlier sought to remain in office by asking to dissolve parliament and call new elections. But after the president turned him down, the prime minister met senior progressive party officials and reportedly suggested himself that he stepped down. So everyone around him is telling himself, mm. which All right. this is an interesting bit to read into Icelandic politics. There is a party called the pirate party and they're awesome. All right. You know what? This is boring. Now, yep. what else do we yep. have in the news? Uh, let's go to encryption, some more boring stuff, but it's super important. Um, is this what you added? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I see. Look, there's a definite, the, the, definite the, tone the, shift on the show. There's a. It's important hold, stuff. Hold on. Okay, there, make it there, quick. Hold then. on. Hold on. There's a note on the show notes that he added during the show that says <laughs> Andrew Spindler has added a note. It says Andrew added. I think these are important <laughs> and they're highlighted topics. Okay, make it quick. They bet do. If they're not entertaining as yeah. hell, I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just want to mention this just real quick. Okay. WhatsApp just switched on encryption for over a billion people. Um, if you're following anything with the Apple versus Department of Justice thing, uh, encryption is a big issue. And WhatsApp is a company owned by Facebook. Um, if I'm not, yeah, owned by Facebook. And oh, now yes. encryption. He doesn't even know the topic. Like, I do know the topic. And now encryption is on board for over a billion people. And it's important. No, you are so for the president, what we're going to, you know, the Department of Justice tried to do with the same person, you know, shooting a phone. There's a whole police in the right direction of, of privacy. Having us not fetishizing our electronics. Next article, president Obama quickly. Said. I'm going to say something real fast. I'm going to compliment you, Andrew. And I hope my son grows up to be like you. I'm gonna be. I'll be honest, maybe. I, like, dude, he just doesn't give a shit. No, he, he doesn't. He keeps straight. He's he has self esteem. He doesn't care how much we play music over him. He's gonna keep. I know, he's, he's gonna, gonna, gonna say his point. Yeah, Andrew is the first half MVP for the network. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else do we have in the news? Skip those terrible topics. <laughs> do you want to go to the haunted house or the porn yes. star death? Whatever's in order. Dude. Right. Come on. So Let's, you know that you know how to do this. I know. I didn't want to bring it down. Oh, my son, I hope my son is an autistic, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Amber Rain, the adult film actor who accused porn star of James Dean of rape, has died at age 31. Hmm. Uh, officials in California. Wow, a downer. Yeah. I, He's kind of steamy. Hey, uh, no. Bring up some. Happened, uh, can drugs? you bring up some uh, ph photos of her, Thomas, while Andrew yeah, sure. covers the news? What kind of photos? <laughs> Something I can project on your face. <laughs> oh, Anything from Pornhub, X Hamster, you know. Officials in California are to perform post mortem tests on adult film actress who once accused fellow porn star. James Dean of rape after hmm. she was found dead. Amber Rain, age 31, has been in the industry for 10 years, passed away at her home in Los Angeles, according to a report on a website that covers news of the pornographic industry. She is believed to have passed away peacefully in her sleep, but the exact cause of death is not yet known. Um, it is OD. believed... Yeah, it's, yeah, it's got to be, right? The picture that they have posted here for the independent just... Oh, I would not rule out OD in a, no, at no, all. no commentary, please? It is believed that Miss oh, Rain... Oh, she's... Steve, Thomas is holding up... I'll post a picture yeah. of her on the Rayman Show site. 
She's pretty steamy, right? She's attractive, yeah. What a loss. What a what a loss to society. Show me them titties. <laughs> oh my god. I'm, I'm just, no. It's a clothed no. picture. He's, he's pretending. For Christ's he's sake. He's pretending. He's like that gay guy I worked with at the gym who yeah. would like see a chick walk <laughs> oh, by. Isn't she hot? He's not totally bold. No, there was a gay guy. That, that he was known as gay. Everyone knew he was gay. Yeah. And every time a hot chick would walk by, he would say the most disgusting things about what he would sexually harass women just to prove he's not gay. That's but everyone funny. knew. Well, we knew because one of my employees, um, one of my employees' father, was a cop, okay. and they arrested him in the park. And there was a gay park in Tucson where guys went down on each other, mm. and he arrested him for being out at that park going down on a guy. <laughs> so we all knew he was gay, right? So after that, when he made all these comments, it made sense. Like, man, you because he tried really hard. Yeah. But missed the point entirely. Right. It just became vulgar. I, no, it was so vulgar. Oh, man. It was things that I don't even think Tony would say. That mm. says I something. I mean, yeah. it was so vulgar. Okay, go ahead. What does the article say about her? It is believed that Miss Rain, who is from Detroit, died on Saturday night or Sunday morning, and the autopsy is set to take place at the end of the week. None of her social media accounts suggested that anything was wrong with her. Mm-hmm. Um, directy, s- director Stormy Daniels told AVN, she was a really good friend and one of the best actresses and performers I've ever had the pleasure to work with. And I'm just uh, glad translate. That- uh, we went out, down on each other several times. She tasted really good. She kept herself clean. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just glad that I had the opportunity to work with her and call her a friend. I wish I'd glad just, I got gl- hit that. Yeah. I'm glad <laughs> I have the opportunity to 69 that bitch. <laughs> so tough. Wow. In a 2007 interview, she said, aside from my career, I'm still what could be considered the average everyday girl. Music is a rather large passion of mine and consumes a considerable amount of my time, whether it be dancing to it, playing my Les Paul, or hanging out listening to local bands. That is a shame, though. Music is usually involved. I I mean, on a serious note, like, she she was young, she was attractive, and it it sucks when you see that. And she was, she's actually a pretty popular porn star. She's not one of those, she is a clip porn star, like, modern day, like, she's not like, no one's ever going to be Jenna Jameson. At this point in the game, where you the, watch the, the whole the, movie, the market is just not that anymore. Uh, but she was fairly popular. I think I have a few of her videos saved. <laughs> it's always a shame when people succumb to drugs in the first place. Yeah, drugs is terrible. Uh, unless it's Donald Trump drugs. Hey, <laughs> what else do we have in the news, Andrew? Haunted house. A haunted house stay has ghost fanatics vomiting as things move and doors open on their own. <laughs> what? It's too spooky for me. (laughs) A spooky house where a group of ghost fanatics stayed the night, which was so haunted, some of them became physically sick. Uh, The creepy home, Eh. dubbed The Hostel by paranormal experts. I don't know. Super original, guys. Is notorious for its spooky aura with stories of moving chairs, objects flying through the air, and candles blowing out. It just sounds like a drafty house. The (laughs) seven-bedroom home in whole East Yorkshire (laughs) even had... (laughs) Has even had ghostly faces appearing at the windows, leading to police break-ins. Now, Becky Cook, age 26, was one of the people brave enough to step inside. Sped, said spooky forces began to take hold of her as soon as she passed through the front door. The activity, uh, she said, the activity started the moment we got inside. Uh, things moved, and three of us vomited. This was an amazing feeling of sickness that came over us. So it wasn't that they got scared to being sick is just that they claim that they just suddenly felt ill yeah and they puked probably just fungus <laughs> it's probably just fungus. It's, a, it's an old house it's drafty it's probably black fungus growing yeah, on the as walls. soon as you walk in though yeah it I seems mean, fungus real can sudden be pretty yeah but even a building with mold you're not going to get sick in a heartbeat all right what else does the topic say uh, Sue Thompson, age 60, another ghost hunter, brave enough to step over the threshold of 39-day Gray Street, said it was a very exciting night. And we got an amazing <laughs> response from the table-tipping seance and the Ouija board. Ooh. And, uh, you always got the sense something was standing behind you, and the experiments we carried out proved that something was there. Hmm. Each ghost hunt is different, but you need energy and enthusiasm among the group you are with, and there was a lot of that. Um, clairvoyant Jolene Lockwood <laughs> was another member of the group that entered the ghoulish digs and witnessed flying objects and bone-chilling sensations. She's quoted as saying, we had one guest stuck 
on the head with a ball and a number of names brought I said, sure, shit. The You're telling, but here's people the thing. want that so bad. Here's yeah. the thing. I borderline believe in some of this stuff because after especially our interview I believe there's with, something out there. Um, I can't remember the, the actor's name yeah, at the moment. I know you're talking about. But uh, I believe there's some stuff out there. But at the same time, I can't. I have a hard time with this article because you're telling me in this day and age where people have their phone out in the fraction of a second to record and post literally everything else in the world. We don't have shit for this right Tell now. Tell me this. But you're telling me all mm. this stuff happened? Why is it with all these ghost shows, all these ghost shows we have nowadays, how come they never seem to be able to truly capture anything? Yeah. It's like, oh, did you see that? It's all set up. Oh, did you see that? No, my oh, camera was off. Fe- oh, my God. Something just touched me. It was Something Andrew. just touched me. <laughs> <laughs> it was Andrew? Yeah. <laughs> Something just touched me. That's all. It's all staged. All of it. The way that they have this house set up, too, like, it's it's very clearly set up to be a haunted house. Like, you walk in and you know that you know that shit's going down. Did you see that? Ah. Something moved. The Wolfman is. I think it was Andrew's penis. <laughs> it was All a right. fist. Who's the growling one? <laughs> what else do we have in the news, Andrew? Would you like to experience dying? No. Too bad, because you can now see the death simulator that allows visitors to experience dying, cremation, and rebirth. That's just weird. Cool. No. Visitors are flocking to a new attraction in Shanghai that allows them to experience what are. it feels like to die, be cremated, and be reborn. How about you just kill yourself? <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? You'll know what it feels like, idiots. <laughs> Who wants to spend their time doing this? It's 100% kind of cool. guaranteed. No. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the suicide booths. The Samadhi Death Simulator. Which Grab opens- a gun. Be a man. Put it to your dome. If you want to know what it feels like? Just joking. Call the suicide hotline. <laughs> if you guys feel like doing that, please do that. I'm just there joking. Are people who I don't, don't, I don't condone that type of stuff. <laughs> that's that's hurting our marketing, Mike. Yeah, I know. Yeah. What pro suicide? That's all right. Whatever. We, 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 we got we don't wine wanna... to sell you. <laughs> shit. What the hell's wrong with this? Somebody... That was the wine talking earlier, guys. It was. Uh, the somebody... I'm very sympathetic. <laughs> The Samadhi Death Simulator, which opens to the general public on Monday, allows visitors to be killed off by their peers before they are cremated in an oven. Wait, here, and then killed resurrected. off by their peers as well? So they're all actually experiencing murder? Yeah. Being murdered? That yeah. is horrifying. Yeah, who, who wants this? I don't know. No, but no. participants... What happened to the good old days when you would sit in a parked car with, with, uh, with the good old Aunt May? Well, not Aunt May. She's not your Aunt May, but May. <laughs> and you guys hold hands? Get a little grab of the boob. Ooh. Maybe get some touching of the oh. underneath her uh, her three layers of clothing. <laughs> go on, grab some boobs a little bit. This is the Rain Man fan fiction. Maybe of the show? possibly you know get to third base. Maybe if you're lucky. What happened to the days where that was satisfying? Well, I mean, now we want to else. experience death. You guys want to go to the movies? Now let's kill Andrew instead and see what that's like. <laughs> that sounds like a legit plan, though. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as a society, we have gone so... We are living in a sci-fi movie from the 80s. Oh, yeah. Oh, where yeah. Where society wants more. Give us more. Give us more. We are that society. We're 30 years away from, like, Death Race or some murder show being yeah. the entertainment we watch at night. Really mm-hmm. is. What else does it say? Apparently, this is popular enough to warrant a sixty-eight dollar price oh, tag. Oh, fuck off! Uh, participants who pay around forty. Cheap to just die for real. <laughs> just kill me for real. <laughs> Take me now. Participants can also write down their final reflections. If you spend sixty-eight dollars to experience death, you probably should die. <laughs> and their last words before death. I'm, that's it. I'm dying. Right, no, right. is, I, I made t- a bad decision. I can't take the stupidity of this. Cool. If you're willing to spend, but there's a plastic wall that you can crawl out. If you're willing to spend sixty eight dollars to to die, take one of the guns that you buy from us. (laughs) (laughs) Have a nice glass of Rain Man digital wine. I'm in parody right now. I I, let me just preface this: I don't condone suicide. Trigger warning. Yes, trigger. Thank you. Very liberal of you. Very liberal of you. Trigger warning. Just end it now. That's it for today's show. Thank you, everybody, for listening to The Rayman Show. We'll be back next week. Weapons and wine.
Thank you for listening to The Rain Man Show with Michael Flores and co-hosts Tony Sabal, Kaylee Norris, and Thomas Cowley with audio guru Dustin Lucas. Produced by Michael Flores and Dustin Lucas. The Rain Man Show is a Casador Productions and Rain Man Digital broadcast production. For everything Rain Man, go to rainmanshow.com.